uh, share to your level what made you quit uh share to my level you know there's always that voice in the back of your mind that's telling you you are losing it now you are losing focus you are kind of going down the wrong path this is not going to end well it's there mm. you just you just need to be calm enough to hear it and there'd be moments like you know you've had a pint you hang it you know those ones of you wake up and you say i swear <laughs> <laughs> Where? If I see booze, I'll pour it. That's like eight o'clock in the morning. Then you sober <laughs> up, the hangover goes. Then four, you just see an SMS. What's up? Plan? <laughs> you're like, damn. Then you're like, just today. You know, then it becomes a cycle. But then every morning when you wake up, there's like a guilt mm. that hits you. It's a guilt for wasting money. Mm. It's a guilt for hurting your body and you're just like something's got to change. And like I told you with the mind, it can end you or it can make you. And the same way that it happened for me with Nation and I was like, "Oh, I wish I could sit on this balcony every morning." Oh, I sat. I sat, all right. I sat for a very long time on that balcony. Paka the tea was not enjoyable anymore. So it's the same thing with the booze. There was a prayer. There was a hidden prayer in my head and in my body and in my mind every day. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop and it eventually just, just happened mm. everything you know they say there's something they call scientific prayer scientific prayer your mind your body and your feelings or your spirit mm. have to be aligned mm. for something to happen it can't be my brain really wants it but my body yani my brain really wants me to stop because logically this is not helping me yeah. but the body just wants booze mm. or the body just wants whatever it is that you do that you indulge in and but when the mind and the body tell each other eh can we be on the same line here mm. it will happen mm. that's what scientific prayer is aligning all those things your thoughts and your feelings when you align them then whatever it is you want to happen will happen one way or the other your situation or your circumstances will ar- around you will change uh-huh. and that's what happened and So but you see changing is that what led to you quitting because you're just like I can't be in this environment anymore. It's one thing or did you feel like you could still continue mm-mm, mm-mm. doing uh-huh. Qu- quitting what karaoke? Yeah. Karaoke um I I quit for two reasons. And and and, and again I've 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 said this before and I've read like in 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 the in the in the dailies where the com- the story is completely misconstrued. Mm. It's so unbelievable. Karaoke one the brand was being diluted mm. my brand was Aha. being diluted by being easily accessible and and people just basically knowing where you are and being able to access you for free aha you get I what get. i mean Asana, yeah, i get so that that there was no desirability for this celebrity anymore you know so here you are you're working on songs yeah yet you're making yourself so easily accessible and available that these songs will never make you any money cuz ndakona sana ipe jo ile pale eh she was looking so sexy in that video don't it come take you know this it was a clash I get basically it. and so i needed to pick one and so i picked that other than the fact that okay now come on your age i started when i was like 22 you're in your 35 36 almost hitting 40 yo you did this for years Anna. yes i did 20 this is a full career mm 22 plus what plus 13 years 35 2020 march okay yeah and i was just like i'm also aging this is not the kind of environment i would want somebody of my age to be in doing this mm. it's okay to be in the club out of choice yep. but not at you now you're forcefully there because you have a job in you know in in the bar considering yeah. that you have this brand And, and then, let's be real you're making a lot of money at this time i was like I what, was. what, what kind of the lady used to pay me at 40 40 she's like guys sana Yenu tacha tu hizi do hivi. Nikamwambia I have to pick what is most important to me at this time. And right now it is building, it is rebuilding and re-strengthening that brand and and also just accepting that my age doesn't allow me to do this anymore. Mm. There's younger girls now who this can be an opportunity for them to grow. And so she's like Gaya nutacha tu hizo do hivi. Nikamwambia imagine taenda na nikaenda na kuamini. Okay, okay. Number three was now since I had stopped drinking this was a trigger environment. Aha. You know things can't hey, change powerful. if you don't change your your situation. Mm. 
So for me to be able to get to a point where I'm strong enough to see a tequila pass like this and just be like, Ay, are you sure? You really want it? Oh, yeah. I even ask people now. I buy them, but then I ask them whether they are sure. Mm. But there was a time when maybe I wasn't strong enough to be in that environment and, and, and booze is passing and I'm seeing everyone just getting, you know, happy <laughs> and, you know, buzzed. And me, I'm just there with my stone face. You know, <laughs> but now I'm at that point where I've seen I've seen the pos the positive side of of what the lack of that thing can 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 do for my life. Powerful. And you 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 cannot pay me. You cannot pay me. You can't. Okay. Ah, I know we fast forwarded this story, but then I just wanted to. I I felt like this where where the conversation was worth hearing mm. about the ups and downs of your. Of this karaoke journey yes um and From also radio. i wanted people to understand your quitting in this you know you're here talking about shots and all these things and making fun of it not knowing that sana here even when we offered her drinks the first thing she was like i don't drink <laughs> like okay and do you know i never thought it would be such a, chai. it's such a great thing to say yeah it, it's it's great to okay maybe not a good thing to say <laughs> because sometimes like there are people who say ah, ah, ah. no man i shouldn't have a pint today then they're like, ah, like any letter to Moja. It's great to be able to sit down and say, get me tea. Mm. Unwavering decisions where no matter what, that's what I'm telling you, you cannot pay me. Yeah. I, th there's no endorsement for booze that can make me drink. Like if it. you want me for that, make sure I don't, I don't touch that point. You get, mm. but, ah, it's I just, get it it's because you've gone through the motions. You've yeah. gone through that, that that time of when you wanted to quit and you didn't have the strength to I quit. Didn't have the strength that to alignment that you're talking and about. And please let's let's get it right, yeah? Because I, I I see that there's a lot of people who want to read into it as alcoholism. Yeah, yeah. That was not alcoholism. Mm. Alcoholism is my God. I cannot go a day without the booze. Mm. I could. I would stay like even when I go like stay with my folks and stuff. Four, 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 five days I'm there mm. and I'm not thinking. Lakini nilikuambia magurudumu ya gari, ikikanyaga one raptor root. <laughs> You're just like, yo, plan? <laughs> We're at Vineyard. At get nile. Lakini sifiki. <laughs> you know, but it was, we. I did it because it was fun to do. Yep. I didn't do it because I needed. Yep. To. It's not that on where you're at home and you've got seven bottles at home. No, Jesus, no, yeah. God. Yeah. No. It was a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, I could do without it. It's just, um, I'm better this way. Okay. Yeah. And I, I love myself. I, I, I remember saying one time at an interview that I feel like I've been given a second chance and I'm living my best life. I'm so aware. Like... It's, there are friends of mine who see me these days and they're like, guy, Yanni, you, you're just happy. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Mm. And, and, and <laughs> so they joke about, Yanni, you're so happy, Paka, you've added weight. If I was going to ask you, did, did, did leaving alcohol um, have health uh, differences? Absolutely. Difference is the wrong word. I mean, it's not like Ati had gotten to that point where now everything was shutting down in, in, inside the body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there used to be sounds, <laughs> you know, you used to hear some things and you're woken up and you're just feeling like the most useless person on earth. And then you just hear, <laughs> Uku Kwatumbo, you're like, Bas, this is it, we've got to stop. <laughs> but when I stopped, um, one thing that happened was the appetite. The appetite came back like, there are things I never used to eat. Things like chapo. Things like cake, biscuits, chocolate. I used to want nothing but salty things. So mm. it's the chicken, chips. it's the yam chom, it's the chips. Are you crazy? Like, how am I going to eat that? You know, the body was only craving nyama and salty stuff mm. and junk food. Uh, but then also they got to a point where the stomach wouldn't want anything. Mm. So there was, there was very minimal eating. Hey, what did you call it? Gigo. What's gigo? Garbage in, garbage out. Okay, so now this was uh, was garbage out and proper stuff in. Mm. Like I, I can't tell you how much I love cake. Like, I'd, I'll give you this example. I used to go, like if I go for a wedding 
and I'm there with my that same cousin of mine, that one, my my nene fellow criminal, Nyakabi. Mm. And so we have brothers who don't drink, both of us. So we're here, we're at the wedding. So us guys want to leave. We're like, this thing's done. See, we go, we're gonna miss happy hour. <laughs> the boys want to continue staying. Why? Because there's cake. They want that cake. They are guys for Fanta and cake. <laughs> so us guys at that time are not understanding. What is this craving for cake? Let me tell you today. Today. Kwa wedding uko hapo. He he he. Si toki wedding kabla si jakula keki. On set sometimes like at Kina we have birthdays for people. Uh -huh. I, I could have finished two scenes before. But I'll wait for that cake. <laughs> it, it's, it's unbelievable. Mm. Like it's so it's so crazy that I can order a kg for my house. Oh nice. Yeah. It's better than a body. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> well, you know. Okay, not really. It depends. It's not. It's got its own devices. It's, <laughs> I, I really, really, like, I really got my appetite back. Like, I was nice. eating healthy and I'd find time to cook proper things. And so the, 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 the weight, it's short. Mm. But then I realized, hey, I kind of like this look more than I... Because you guys, I look, I look back and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. That was a skeleton. I was really, really, like, I'd really, really lost weight. Um, so that was, I was weighing what, 66 at the time. And I know they say, oh, girls shouldn't say how much they weigh. I don't care. <laughs> Me, I'm 89. Yeah. Okay? I've got heavy bones as well. But you can see from 66 to 89, that is a lot of kgs. Mm. But I know why it happened. So the rest of the people who are there are just talking about, ah, siju nini, oh, I'm an mm. Me, I'm happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Like the other day, somebody on set was telling me, uh, You've lost weight, eh? I almost cried. <laughs> I swear, I almost cried. I was like, what do you mean? Where? Where are my hips? Have I lost my hips? So we'd be mad. One inch. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Am I stressed? What's going on? <laughs> so just know that I'm very happy. Okay. And I'm uh, living my best life. I love it. Okay. Let's go back. Hey, 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 hey. At least I can put a finally a tick on karaoke. Mm -hmm. Just give a shout out to some of the places that you, by the way. Oh, wow. Um, threw down at. Then we, then we move on from this. Oh, wow. You confused me there. Obviously, Tamasha, uh -huh. where it all started. Um, and where did it end? 4040? Uh, no, it ended the Grove, Riverside. Oh. Yes, that was the best western. Oh, fantastic. I, I loved that karaoke. Like if I was to keep a karaoke, I'd keep that one for sure. Mm. Because it was a very, a very balanced crowd, a very mature crowd. Yeah. Um, they still knew how to have a good time, but keep their respects, mm. you know. And, 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 and that's where I was graduating too, by mm. the way. Because where I started hosting, more like bars and restaurants. And then now I was, you know, hotels, hosting almost, yes. hotels. Yeah. Mm. So that, that was good for me. Charova! <laughs> Charova! <laughs> so big shout out, obviously, to Tamasha. Galileo really held me for a while. Uh -huh. Galileo uh, Westlands especially. That held me for a while. Budaba, obviously, one of my most, like, like possibly the, the, the favorite one in terms of, like, how it used to kick. Mm. Um, geez, we've even done two rivers with Mato. Man. Nice. Have you done anywhere out of Nairobi? Yeah. I did, uh, I did Nanyuki. That didn't go well. <laughs> I think we, we, we started... <laughs> hey, that trip, that trip was interesting. Did you, just a one-off? Yeah, just a one-off. Okay, okay. It was, so I was to do karaoke that day, and then the following day we did, I host, I performed, because they were like now launching the, the club. Mm. Yeah. Mm, didn't go as planned. Okay. Too much <laughs> indulgence from the day we left. <laughs> And in fact, this was the weekend for shooting Chagola Moyo. Mm. So did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Yani, Yani, these were just pint days. And then we came back on sun, on the Saturday. Sunday, I was shooting Chagola Moyo. I was a bit. But anyway. We'll so come, yes. We'll come, the acting is a whole other convo. We'll come there. <laughs> so yeah, so shout out. out to all those places, even those places that didn't work. Mm. Uh, you know, the Ignition. Sometimes we'd host just us guys. Um, there was another place called Siju Sky. What to Ukoju. Eh. I used to take the stairs because I'm just like me, I'm not getting stuck in that thing. <laughs> ah, no. Four floors, five floors, six floors, seven floors. I used to go up the stairs. What? Even 40-40. 40-40, sometimes that lift used to get stuck. Ah, there's a day I checked in, it fungered, and then zua. Ngazi throughout. 40-40, I think, is on eighth floor. Mm. Yeah. That was me every Wednesday. Up and down. And you stopped the lift. Mm, mm, mm. No, I ain't getting get nothing. <laughs> yeah, so yay! All those places. Okay, sir, so let's let's go back to some music. Okay, mm. so I think the songs 
what's the last song we left left you out on? We left Dan Aseda. Uh -huh. Dan Aseda, yes. Okay. Let's go on. What's next after that? Oh gosh, can I remember? Sana solos. Or do you want me to name a few and then you tell me where? Sima Maimara? Much later. Much, much later. Mm. Um Yako. Much later. Aye. There's drama with that song, Kwanza. I'll tell you about it. Uh, I think I think um so this is what? This is Dana Seda. Is there any other collaboration in between? There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. So by the time I was at, when I was at Nation, I had recorded Amina. Mm. I stayed with Amina for a good two years before I released. Yeah, because I'm like, what do you mean when you're at Nation? Mm.